So this is Samsung's latest product, the Freestyle second generation, which is a sequel to what I was calling the best smart home device of 2022, the original Samsung Freestyle, which I really liked for its massive versatility as a tiny projector, a smart speaker, a smart TV. You could shine it in any direction. Like for example, I had it mounted to my headboard in my bedroom, shining up at the ceiling so I could lay in bed and watch movies on my ceiling. Like that was just one of the many, many ways you could use it. And now, like I said, We've got the second generation here. So in this video, we'll figure out what's different about this projector, but also I wanna talk about my favorite use cases, features, and just different ways you could set up this projector. Call it like top 10, but there's gonna be more that I talk about throughout this video because no matter who you are, there is going to be a really interesting use case of this projector in your life somewhere. So. With that being said, this is a pre-production unit. I wanna thank Samsung for sending it over and for sponsoring this video. Of course, all opinions are my own, and we're gonna talk about the features that I really like about this projector. So let's start off with a quick little physical tour beforehand, just in case anybody hasn't seen the first generation. It looks and is shaped exactly like a coffee can. Like this thing is tiny, and it projects up to 100 inches in any direction you want. So straight up obviously, but it can go down 180 degrees either direction, actually more than 180 degrees. So it's great for projecting on a screen, on, on like of course if you want that, or you could project it as I said on a ceiling above your bed, endless options here. And the benefit is that this does automatically set everything up for you. So you just set it down, turn it on and aim it at whatever wall you're interested in or projector screen and it'll automatically keystone, it'll automatically focus, and it'll automatically level everything so you're left with a nice picture on the wall. And this is also projecting in full HD. And then on the outside, we have holes all the way around in this really satisfying pattern. So I, I like the way it looks, but those are actually holes for the speaker because this does have 360 degree audio. Again, so you can just set this up and watch videos or movies or play games, and you don't need to plug in another speaker or really any wires at all. This thing's just totally a standalone device. But the second cool use case slash feature that I really like about this is the ability to use it as a smart speaker. So the speaker, as I said, obviously is built in here, but you might also notice all of the little holes kind of randomly uh, arranged around the, the center. Those are actually microphone holes because this, like I said, is a smart speaker. You can talk to Bixby or Amazon Alex and you can have it play anything like TV, like I said, or just music. You can get Spotify or other music apps on here and listen to music just on this little device. And, and then the third cool aspect of the Freestyle second generation is that once again, it was designed really well for accessories. So it can stand on a table just on this little stand that is included, or this can actually mount into the battery base, which allows you to go totally wireless. You don't have to even plug this in because you'll have a battery with you. Or a third thing is you could take this little flexi thing off. You'll see this has some little nodes on the bottom as well as uh, little mounts. So this can actually attach to a light bulb adapter, which allows you to thread into like a socket that you'd see for like an A19 bulb. So you just thread it right in and now you can shine this down onto any table. So this is great for like kids if you're trying to entertain them. This could be useful in a kitchen if you wanna have like a cooking video right next to when you're cooking. So you can like keep, you don't have to look up all the time. You can see what you're doing and also see the video like really limitless options when you have just some of the simple accessories that Samsung came up with, which again, props to them for coming up with these accessories. I think that's, I think more devices should do that. So then looking at the side where we have the ports, we have USB type C that'll power the projector. So you can power it from a wall, from a battery bank, from this battery bank that attaches to the bottom. Many, many ways to plug this in. USB type C, super versatile. Above that we have I always forget what it's called, mini HDMI or micro HDMI or nano, whatever. It's a tiny HDMI. Uh, this is the same one I have on like my camera. So you can plug in a laptop or any other device that isn't able to cast. Most laptops can cast, but if you can't cast, uh, you would be able to plug in with HDMI right here. And of course we have a microphone switch above that, which is the next cool feature. If you have a lot of people that just love screaming Amazon Alex or, or Bixby and you're always triggering this, then you could disable the microphone and you don't have to worry about that. So I know by now you're probably thinking, wow, that's like a lot of cool use cases. That's probably like just about it, right? No, no, no. This thing has so much more. Wait till we get to the interface and the other functions there. But, but still just looking at the design, if we look at the top, you'll see not only the, the lens, obviously we're projecting, but a lot of sensors around there. Those are going to be doing the auto leveling and keystoning, as I said, 
But the next cool feature is right next to the volume down button. So there's a power, there's a volume, those are capacitive touch buttons. And then there's this little phone icon. You can actually cast from your phone. So if you're using like a Samsung phone, works really well with this. You just tap your phone on there and it'll share your phone screen on the projector. You don't have to go into cast settings or anything. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, boom, you can cast on this. So again, making it super easy. So now this is suddenly something that would be useful to bring to a friend's house or to a party or a wedding or whatever, or maybe even like a meeting. So you no longer have people sitting there like, you know, when there's a group of like 10 people all like working on the HDMI, like plugging it in and trying to, trying to set that up. With this, you don't have to do that. You just bring your own projector. There's one last cool physical feature of this before we get into the interface and the many use cases there. And that's actually this really beefy lens cap. So you might wonder why they gave us such a big translucent lens cap. And that's because it's meant to be a diffuser. So you can turn on the projector and shine like different lights or light patterns on here. And it works basically like a colored light bulb. So for a party, this can once again act as a smart speaker or just a cool decoration with cool lights on the top, shining through that, that kind of just gives it a nice glow, a nice color. But if you take that off, there's other ambient things you can do with this. So I guess it's time we, we probably turn this on and get into the interface. So the first one I wanna show you before talking about projecting any kind of video or stuff like that is actually ambient mode. And there's two aspects to this. The first thing is ambient mode, like just on a wall, if you wanna decorate, say it's a darker room, you don't have windows, you wish you had windows, but you can't afford like a giant house in Montana. Well, you can project a window and it's like, it's not a window, but it's, it looks pretty nice. Like it actually does a, a really impressive job. So they have quite a few different windows that you can project on here in ambient mode, or you can project like happy birthday. You can project all types of different little decorations on your wall, neon signs, colorful designs, like endless options here. Or of course your own photos, if you just want to project them, but ambient mode with windows, that's one that I really am I'm partial to that. I like that a lot, but we can expand this even further with edge blending where you can have two, two Samsung freestyles set up side by side and you can have a massive, massive display. So we've been talking about how this projector is kind of similar in aesthetics to the previous generation, but there are a couple huge differences in the second generation here. And one of them is by far my favorite feature, which is why I'd prefer to get the second gen instead of the first gen. I think this feature is so unique and so interesting, and this is called Smart Edge Blending. Now to set it up, there's seven steps and I'll show you what they are, but essentially you can project with two different projectors onto one really, really wide screen and you blend the edges together so it becomes one continuous projector. And this is great because it's mobile, it's portable, you can bring it to project on any wall or any large screen. And so maybe one use case, for example, would be I went to Canada recently. I went on a trip up to Banff National Park. It was beautiful, incredible photos, but one photo like really didn't show much. So I ended up taking a lot of panoramas. And if you've ever taken panoramas, you would know that it's really hard to view such a wide photo on basically any screen out there. And this is a perfect situation of where I could show those photos with a really, really wide aspect ratio and show it in a really nice, convenient way. But this is not the only way you can use Smart Edge Blending. So I have these two sitting side by side. You could also stack them one above the other and have a taller aspect ratio that's a little bit more like a square. So regardless of which one you're doing, Setting this up is pretty easy. So going through this, the first step is you open up the SmartThings app. You go to your projector, it doesn't matter which one you choose, just choose one of the two, as long as they're both on and pointing at the same wall. Then tap on Smart Edge Blending, then we'll tap on Start, we'll tap on Next, we'll tap on Select Smart Edge Blending Device, and then we can choose the other projector. So if you have like three or four of these, then yeah, you'd wanna choose the one right next to it. But assuming you might just have two as, as I do, it should be your only other option. And we'll select the orientation. So I'm choosing landscape layout. It gives you a really wide aspect ratio. You could do a portrait layout, which as I said, is going to be a little bit closer to a proper square versus a really long panoramic one. Then you'll reposition the projector so the little icons overlap. And then it'll prompt us to use the camera on our phone to point at the screen, looking at all eight squares, tap on blend, and then your phone does some magic and all of a sudden they will all be blended. From there, you can choose what photos you want or you can mirror your phone, for example, but I've just been going through different photos. You can have uh, approximately 30-ish different photos cycling through if you want or just manu manually select one at a time. 
So you can see right here is just like a really wide photo of the sky. Here's another one of when I was in Canada. And all of these, in my opinion, are just such a cool use case that it's kind of striking. Like you don't see other devices do anything like this. So being a projector, of course, this does have a fan on the inside to keep it cool, but that fan, it, we'll get into a test. I'll, I'll show you, you can hear for yourselves. It's surprisingly quiet. So like I said, I like to watch movies like in bed. I'll have this mounted on my headboard. So it's like really close to my ears. And as long as you are playing any sound at all, you really won't hear the fan. And even if sound is totally off, like you can barely hear the fan, but it's, it's far quieter than most other projectors I've used. All right, so here is a fan test. You can see how quiet it actually is. So we're clocking about 38 decibels at about 12 inches away. So that's really just quiet background noise. Now, when it comes to controlling this projector, that is the next cool feature. We have two different ways to do that. One is with the solar cell remote. So this is kind of an upgrade Samsung's been rolling out across many of their products where we have that little solar cell on the back. So you never have to charge this. You like you can charge it if you want on the bottom, but, but you just set it like face down and it'll charge. Like it doesn't require much. And on the front, of course, we have like the autofocus. We've got a microphone on there to use it from a distance if the microphones on the device can't hear you. And of course, the little like rocker up and down for volume and for channels. Overall, a pretty solid, fairly familiar uh, remote, but it's nice that we have solar cells on there. The second way you can control this is with your phone using the Samsung SmartThings app, which is already on Samsung devices. So super easy on a Samsung phone. Uh, and again, you can you could choose a lot on there more than you could on the remote, like not just regular controls, but also like put an ambient mode on or choose the app or choose the video, whatever cast from your phone, plenty of options there. All right, so let's get into an audio test at max volume. Just gonna hit play on some no copyright music. About 65 decibels, not bad. So summarizing the new aspects of the Freestyle second generation, it's a lot of familiar stuff, like the design is, is largely unchanged, but we're getting a lot of features on here, like the solar cell remote is new, we're getting the gaming hub on here, we're getting edge blending, and some other kind of general subtle improvements that make it overall a better experience and expand the versatility of this product. Okay, so kind of summarizing the freestyle second generation, giving like this massive versatility into any home really makes you think more creatively about how you could use it. So at first, people look at this and say, all right, I could just like set it down and project onto a wall or a screen for movies. And, and that's a good first step, but I've used this in so many different situations. So for example, I have like a little home gym. It's really basic, but sometimes if you wanna project a workout, whether that's like yoga or a boxing, whatever workout, you can shine that onto the wall. And then like, if you're wearing boxing gloves, you're obviously not gonna be using the remote. So the voice controls are really useful there. Similarly, the ability to mount this and flex at any angle, as I said before, is great for the headboard so I can watch movies on the ceiling in my bedroom. It's great for in the kitchen to shine straight down. It's great for so many different situations that this is not necessarily intended to be a replacement of your TV, but just a totally different category that TVs can't even touch. But if you have a small apartment, for example, you don't have space for a TV, maybe you could have a projector, or maybe this would be great if you have a Super Bowl party and you wanna watch the game in one room on your TV, but maybe like in the kitchen, you wanna have it projecting there as well. So that is the freestyle second generation. Once again, I think Samsung's really nailing it. No other products are really doing quite what this is doing. And it's just so unique that I think pretty much anybody could find a use case for this. If you can think of any that I didn't mention in this video, definitely be sure to leave a comment below. That's it, this thing is just so versatile. It's incredible how small technology has gotten. And I think we're gonna start seeing a lot more of these.